tracing systems to find people who come into close contact with those infected with coronavirus begin in England and Scotland this morning. Ministers hope it will allow the nationwide lockdown to be replaced with localised restrictions, but scientists say it's not a magic bullet. The future for our biggest car factory, Nissan, is planning a big global reorganisation to cut costs. And I'll have a look at how much the 7,000 workers here in the UK could be affected. Good morning, a busy day on and off the trading pitch for Premier League clubs. Contact training, including tackling, is allowed again, whilst meetings will be held today to discuss a potential date to restart matches. Later today, Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon is set to announce plans for an easing in lockdown measures. The First Minister's already announced plans for a Scottish test and protect system. Northern Ireland has already launched its tracing system and Wales is set to follow next week. It comes as a further 412 people died with coronavirus yesterday, taking the total number of deaths to 37,460. 117,013 tests were done yesterday, with 2,013 people testing positive. Those people living in England will be the first to be contacted today as the new system launches. The government hopes these new measures will start to allow the economic and social recovery from the virus. Today also marks the next stage of the government's three-weekly review into lockdown measures in England, meaning ministers could announce a further easing of restrictions. Let's have a look at the papers for you. Front page of the Daily Express leading on the rollout of the test and trace scheme in England. That's our main story this morning as well, of course. The paper says it's key to our freedom, describes the scheme as world-beating and says it's being introduced to help tackle COVID-19 and end the current restrictions. Now, the Times says the new plans could mean a tighter lockdown for hundreds of thousands of people and says there is a personal responsibility to self-isolate for 14 days if you have had contact with someone who's had coronavirus, who has coronavirus. The paper also carries a picture of the astronauts from the SpaceX launch, which was postponed due to bad weather in Florida. Let's have a look at The Guardian front page, focusing on the fallout from the row surrounding Dominic Cummings. It reports that Penny Mordaunt, who is a senior minister, broke ranks to accuse Mr Cummings of inconsistencies around his decision to drive 260 miles from London to County Durham. The picture is of Newsnight presenter Emily Maitlis, who the BBC says breached impartiality guidelines during her introduction about Dominic Cummings on Tuesday's programme. Ale meet again is the headline on The Sun, which suggests that thirsty Brits could be back boozing in pubs next month. Uh, the paper says the Prime Minister suggested that experts are close to finding a solution to halting the spread of coronavirus in drinking establishments. Uh, let's have a look at one or two of the inside pages. A lot of question marks about how uh, theatres will, for example, uh, eventually try and operate in any sense at all, mm. even without audiences. So we have the old Vic uh, in London who are restaging one of the plays uh, that was there a little while ago, starring Claire Foy and Matt Smith. So this was a two-hander. The play was a two-hander called Lungs, and it was very, very well received at the time. I only the two to see it. Yeah, it was it. only the two of them on stage, so in some mm. ways you think that that is perfect for it. So they will recreate this and they'll do a live performance. People can uh, buy a ticket from home to watch, as it were. And in the play... There were many times when they had clinches because they were a couple going through various traumas. Going to be so it's going to be redone so that they, they are always two metres apart. So not only sort of in terms of the play itself, but in the way it's filmed and created, it's a way. It's one way of kind of getting I, I around some of the I'd restrictions. I'd definitely watch something like that. And it's, it's new. It's new art, isn't it? In, yep. in, in a different... Um, I have a question for you. I've just been looking at the Times this morning. How sexy are your stamens, Charlie? Um, because we're talking about the um, uh, discussion around um, bouquets at the moment. Did you know there are lots of rules about how you can have your flower, how to have your flowers in your house? Would you like to hear some? Do you have Go flowers on. in your house? Yeah, why not? I okay. mean, wh wh why do there need to be rules about okay. it? It looks well, nice, do it. Well, the, the peony is the star of the season, apparently. Um, but there is a rule of thumb. When you make a flower arrangement, it should be twice the size of the vase, of vase. Are you a vase or a vase? Vase. Vase. Um, the one high, one low rule, have you heard of this? Um, you never want your flowers to look like a ball of roses. So an asymmetrical arrangement is needed. And there's the three and five rule. 
Um, I know you're a man who loves rules. Um, always arrange flowers in threes and fives. They're the magic numbers, apparently. Um, and what was the other one? Do you know what? It's, it is starting to take the fun and the delight out of uh, flowers, isn't it, when you have so many rules attached to it? It looks uh, nice, do you, do You've it. had fun flower arranging, but have you? Why, why not? Also, I'm quite a big fan of a lot of green foliage in amongst uh, flower arrangements. Oh, well, That's what look, I'll they, add to that. Here, use foraged foliage and over the, go for over-the-top big branches as well. So the trend right now, you're so on trend, Charlie, it's is big, to is incorporate it? masses of foliage in arrangements. Um, big branches of greenery, beech, birch, hazel, willow, who is, laburnum. Who is telling us what to do? The who, who, who loads, are these rule loads, of, loads of celebrity flower arrangers. Okay. So, and also never um, bashing the end of a stem. You know, people think it will increase water absorption. Mm. Makes don't them last it. longer, doesn't it? Yeah, no, 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 don't do it. It does encourage water absorption, but it encourages bacterial growth. So stick to cutting. Now we know. Test and trace systems will be going live in England and Scotland this morning. It's an attempt to keep the coronavirus outbreak contained. Anyone who's been in close contact with someone who's tested positive will now be asked to self-isolate. The government says the scheme will change people's lives, but scientists are warning it is not a magic bullet. Northern Ireland has already launched its own tracing system. It's due to start in Wales on Monday.